Hello, my name is Shalia. Welcome back for another episode of Victoria 3 as Ethiopia. In previous episode, well, we got our first elections done and all that sort of stuff. Although I know that I said that I'd like to keep it not as uh, democracy as such. But, you know, landed voting is probably not that bad yet. Um, but we are slowly trying to reduce the opinion over here. Are they actually improving the opinion? Oh, yeah, they are. Okay. Let's just expel the diplomats. That's going to increase our infamy by 10. And it can't be improved at least for a while. So now we could declare war. Of course, now that question remains like... Does France hate us? No, they're still genial. So they are less likely to... Actually, it's probably easiest to go over here. But those are genial. That's genial, 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 hostile. And projective. So overall, I think most of the nations that are having interest in... Arabia will not be joining on their side. There might be some of these smaller nations that join, but that might just allow us to conquer more land. So I am okay with that. So let's go ahead and do the conquer state thing. Now I'm just hoping that it doesn't uh, invite too many other nations in there. Time to mobilize our ruler. I should be able to deal with the enemies quite quickly. And that's going to allow us to get this area. I do wonder though, like if Hejaz joins in there, which they are cautious that they might. French Ethiopia interest activated. Are they still... They are still cooperative, at least. I wonder if I could invite them in. Oh, Russia is weighing towards the enemy. Interesting. No. <laughs> True Shield States is the one that might join our side. But I do wonder if they... Hmm. Let's slow down a little bit here. So we'll keep an eye on things. I mean, if we need to retreat, well, it's just going to be a war operations. But of course, Russia won't be able to bring in troops into their state. So we'll still have the advantage in there. Oh, France joined the enemy. Okay. Um, I think we might have to back down. That might open the market. But I can't fight France. The primary war goal, so that's just the war operations. It's going to cost us a decent bit, but at the same time, yeah, I just can't fight that. So, France, do you actually hate me? No? You just want to open my markets. I mean, I want to open my markets, to be fair, but still. That's just uh, not something that I can deal with. But, oh well. I kind of knew that that might happen. That happened a lot of, in my test games as well. With well, France being over here, they just, you know, they have a, quite an interest in Arabia, I suppose. And also, they have an interest in my market. Okay, more Bedouins migrating. Which is, oh, mortality is pretty high in there. There's a lot of turmoil in Yemen, so that probably causes a lot of issues. So, uh, is there any laws that I could change? I could go for censorship, but I don't know if I want to go for that direction. It would increase the authority, I suppose, but reduce the tech spread. So, you know, that would be pretty bad. And taxation, there's just nothing else that we've unlocked yet. So as long as the Conservative Party is in power, we won't be able to do much. But, you know, we're at least improving the uh, popularity of here. Oh, we got an heir. Oh, right. He is very young. So he has no popularity, no traits or anything. I'm sure that he'll get some over time. The lead price has plummeted. Iron price is slowly dropping again. Wood price and clothing price all are going down. General has died. Ooh. Oh, right, that was the... Oh, we've lost two generals already. Okay, oh, that was our ruler, actually, that just passed away. Oh, well, um, right, so we've got a lot of um, battalions available. Let's just go ahead and hire another general, then. Um, both our landowners, your grifter, supply consumption, tax waste, ooh, well, that's as a ruler. But popularity is down. Meticulous, I think that's actually probably the better option here. Although he is alcoholic, the morale damage is down, but it's at least defensive. So he can hold on the, or hold the ground for at least a little, ooh, authority is just plummeted. All right, uh, which party do we want to keep increasing popularity? I think we're going to stop bolstering the Royal Thorg, and then we're going to have to get rid of one of the decrees that we have. Which, to be fair, it's probably going to have to be the road maintenance there. Because I'm pretty sure that we are still going to be... Well, it's just going to be over the limit there, but that's not too bad. Whereas the production for the, especially the class works and the arms industries, is worth more for us. Ah, there we go. Mechanical tools. 
That opens up a few options. We could go for the mechanis mechanized workshops already. Let's do that, and then let's have a look at the buildings. What sort of upgrades can we do? Um, there is the precision tools over here for the furniture. But it would reduce the furniture quite a bit, although it would increase the luxury furniture a lot. We don't have the hardwood for providing all of that though. But it could be useful. And the boiler is not something that I can do. Steel tools is not something that I can do. Uh, sulfide pulping is something that I just don't have the sulfur for. So that's not really a smart option. Um, how much arms are we producing right now? 25 per level. So that's 50 in theory. Actually, it's probably a bit more, isn't it? It's 60 tools, actually. Alright, I mean, that's not too bad. The spy orders for 65 should be more or less so. Yeah, we still need to get more. But that does mean that our military is at least a pretty decent state. I think once we get another level, we could start maybe producing some artillery. And then start putting artillery into our military. And that would get us uh, a little bit stronger. And of course, once we increase the amount of navies that we have, then that's going to improve the situation further. So Intelligentsia hates us. How bad is that? It's minus 9. Minus 6 from armed forces. There's not a lot of loyal groups right now. I'm afraid. Oh, uh, we're getting the Art Academy soon. And do we have... We've got a decent bit of bureaucracy, but we could always expand it further. How much infrastructure do we have here? Um, we're using quite a bit. We're going to afford putting one government administration in here because that's going to increase the tax collection rate. Just that extra that we need. Of course, once we increase our um, bureaucracy, we can start maybe getting some of these... Probably the home affairs, to be fair. Just start reducing the radicals because those have still been going up. We don't have a particularly good uh, standard of living yet, which is definitely a problem. Who are you fighting? Now, you probably won't be fighting anyway. But yeah, we're reducing the uh, relations over here for us, but I suppose... Yeah, we can't declare war on them. Egypt... Oh, right, that's in Nile, so that is going to be... Oh, Dinka, right. So just another colonial war. The French are starting to be pretty strong, though. So how are the... Yeah, in the laws, there's just not basically anything that I want to change. And over here, these two are very <laughs> disloyal. Uh, the rural folk is not particularly loyal, but it's not particularly disloyal either. The industrialists at least give the minus 10% production tech cost, so that's good. They still have most of the clout, but if we can increase the industrialists to be a bit larger, that'd be nice. I think there's a stage, and since there's not going to be a war for us, we can just go for speed fiber once more. At least the population is increasing with pretty steady speed there. There's been a few increases in there from conquering, but not too much. A lot of that has been just natural growth from the 8 million points onwards. And the GDP isn't doing too bad either. We did just get the Art Academy, didn't we? Can we get that to be... Oh no, we don't have the realism yet. You know, they should be producing at least some fine art, once they get more people in here. And then once there's some demand for the fine art, it's going to be making a decent of cash. It's not going to be like a massive uh, profit, but it is going to be something. And then we're going to just increase this production later on as well. Oh, now they're producing, well, still zero, technically speaking, although the production is, okay, 0 0.33, and sometimes it's 0.08. They're still making money every now and then, but every time that they increase production, then the... Uh, profit margin drops with the consumption is increasing slowly in our nation. And that's going to probably start keeping the sort of upper strata, or at least more wealthy people, happier. Although actually, let's have a look. Who uses the art? 30 to 99. Okay, so there's probably just not a lot of that high uh, standard of living. That's the problem. Oh hey, rural folk is uh, happy again. Well, ain't that lovely? So we've got a bit of unemployment in here. That's 10,000 actually, but I suppose that might be partially because the, some of these places just don't turn a profit, so they just have to sort of uh, fire some other people. But I suppose the naval bases are still hiring. We've got three flotillas right now. I'm pretty sure that uh, you need one flotilla per battalion to be transported for the efficient naval support on landing. Once you get in there, then it's going to be a lot easier, but until you do, it gets... or it can be rather harrowing. Go ahead and improve our relations with France. And so, uh, we just need to do something with our points there. There's a lot of nations over here, but I suppose I can't enter there. But, like, getting the coal over there would be really nice. But I'd have to go through France, and that's not going to happen. 
France is the number one great power right now in the game. I don't know by... Actually, um, we should be able to see the... It's in Diplomacy. Country Browser. They got a bit of infamy there, but yeah, they are number one. Uh, how much do you have? 1900, so yeah, they got quite a margin in there. For sure. And we are number 29. So just behind Persia. Although we do need another 32 points there to actually get that. Or get past Persia, so yeah. We certainly need to increase our economy. I mean, we're going to pay more soon than the shipyard, more government administration. So we'll maybe increase some of the institution levels. And we're actually not that far from the election as well. So that's going to be useful. Um, Amhara, we could probably... Oh wait, no. Um, Romia, sorry. We could probably increase some productions. I mean, food industries, for example, how much do they make? That's 600 profit per week there. That's not too bad. The iron price is a bit high, though, so that might be an issue. Is there anything else that we could... Oh, motor industries. Chemical industries would require sulfur. Steel would require coal. Uh, so the options are a little bit limited. I suppose, how bad is the clothing price? is still pretty massive, so I could do that one. Of course, once we get the mechanized workshop, that's going to increase the production drastically as well. But that's fine. We can increase it to quite a margin still and not be in trouble. I do wonder, though, how much of the people in here can read? Does it say in... Not really, I don't think. But the Bob Crow is at least decent. It's 11,000 of the 45,000. That's about 25% of our growth in here. Or, or total growth in the nation is just happening there. So the Art Academy is still... Well, I mean, I suppose they might be a little bit by orders there right now. Consumption is... Oh, there's Aromia consumption is 0.28. Let's have a look at the total consumption then. It's 0.63. Whereas the production it was how much? 1.30. Okay. So we still got quite a bit of overproduction there, but I suppose it could be worse. What other things are we overproducing? Tea... Uh, Man of Wars, wine, uh, sugar, dyes, coffee, and then of course the art, uh, hardwood. Although hardwood isn't that bad anymore. Massive overproduction of fabrics. For that, we're going to start using the fertilizers we're using a lot. So how much? Oh, there we go. We got the paper mill. So that should increase the paper production. The paper price should start dropping. It is going to increase some of the wood consumption as well. But at the same time, we're doing fairly well in that. There's, of course, the boilers and all that, but I suppose until... Oh, election, finally. Uh, so, the Liberal Party does have a lot more votes right now protected. Uh, crystal class unlocked. Let's go ahead and... Actually, we got... Yeah, if we go for this one, it's going to reduce the wood usage. It's going to increase the lead by quite a bit. That's a total 70. We only have a total of uh, 40 or something produced. So, we might want to get another level on the building there. But I'm hoping that the Liberal Party w wins, because then we can maybe remove the serfdom. And we have no extra authority right now, but yeah, removing the serfdom is going to unlock a lot of the other uh, laws that we do want to pass, like the religious schools, which is going to start improving the literature rate, because right now it's kind of stuck at 30% until we get rid of that, and or get rid of the slavery. One or the other would be useful. And I suppose if the... well, hmm... It's sort of part of both... oh wait, no, that's probably just the one thing... oh yeah, that's just the government. You are landowners in this group, though, so that might... Oh, but your popularity is hated. Well, that ain't lovely. Uh, what traits do you have? So you're arrogant, you're bandit, the traditionalist commander, so command level is higher, expert political operator. Oh, that's 20% authority. And as a ruler, that's less prestige, but more authority. Infamy decay is minus 50%. Ooh. Yeah, that's not great. Boom, the pal dolls. Okay, so we can increase the momentum for the Liberal Party by 10%. Or who is... Oh, that's leader of intelligence, yeah. Yeah, we'll increase the popularity. So we... Oh, wow, yeah. Protection votes. 1% for the Conservative Party. They have no momentum whatsoever. I suppose the popularity is pretty bad. So Liberal Party might actually get in power. I certainly hope so. I mean, the industrial... It's, uh, well, basically, this party does have a decent bit of uh, cloud. It's not quite as much as the Conservative Party, but we can start removing some of the clout, especially through the landowners sooner rather than later. Oh, I'm hoping so. That that at least is going to be the case. Uh, let's have a look at the oh, election. Right, yeah, they did get most of the votes. 
there we go. So pretty good legitimacy. We've got a lot of parties in the government that will be supporting a lot of things. And this party has basically all the options available in here. Serfdom and be 50. Oh, wow. Yeah. Serfdom abolished. That might anger the aristocrats for a little bit there, admittedly. Uh, how bad is the loyalty line? Oh, it's only minus seven. Okay, so that's not too bad yet. Although if we do pass the law, then that's going to be... Yeah, okay. It's going to be pretty bad. You know, they're not in power. We got pretty good legitimacy overall. And we got massive popularity for the... Oh, wow, yeah. 25% for the rural folk. That's pretty decent. That's now 20% infrastructure because they are a powerful interest group. Right, so we're reducing... The, oh, yeah, they're trying to improve the relations. Over here, we are still reducing the Kazimid state's uh, influence. So let's have a look at the popularity again. Um, most of these are genial towards us. Question is, of course, is France... Let's have a look at the diplomacy. So France is... It's only minus three over there. All right. Let's actually have a look at France. So France is Egypt, to some degree. I wonder if I was to get in the position where I could pull... Oh, France is fighting another colonial war. If I could pull France into a war against Egypt... Oh, make it as a workshop. Excellent. Let's have a look at some more production things here. Railways could be useful. Uh, chemical bleaching is actually something that we want, because we can start producing more porcelain. And now with the mechanized workshop, actually, let's go ahead and go through the buildings through here. So textile, we can get the sewing machines. It does require a bit more tools and a lot of fabric and dyes, but dyes and fabrics is fine. We've got more than plenty of those. And it's going to also increase the, some of the standard of living for the people in there, because it's going to be higher tier people. Uh, we're going to go for the mechanized workshop for the furniture factory. That's going to be a ton of extra furniture and also a bit more tools and wood consumption. We could definitely go for the precision tools. Uh, that would reduce the luxury furniture price a lot, but also reduce the wood price a bit. Or wood consumption at least, but increase the hardwood consumption. But I think that's fine. Producing at least some luxury furniture will be useful. I'm not going to change those or these. Government administration. Now that we've got pretty good production of paper, I think we're going to go for the standard filing system for everything. So that's going to at least increase the bureaucracy that we have for use. And yeah, I think that was... Probably mostly it. I mean, there's some of the mines that we could start switching to other productions, but I don't think we have the proper consumption for those or availability for those. We're still producing a little bit too little clippers, though. That's a bit of a problem. But we got 170,000 loyalists, uh, still 1.5 million radicals, though, so that definitely needs to go down. But if we can get the certain abolished now, uh, that's going to reduce the amount of radicals probably by 25% or so. So it's like going to be maybe 1.2 million or something like that. Uh, we're getting more administration buildings as well. Another level on textile mill and another level lead mine. Still losing 5,000 per month though. So I suppose that's... Oh, served and abolished. Right. Um, I have a feeling that the landowners are not very happy. But that is at least a step to the correct direction. If we were to go for the mercantilism, the landowners would not hate that. Protectionism would be... Some of that land owners do hate. And free trade, they also hate that one. Mercantilism would be a way to open up our things there. Or, if we go for the religious schools now. Because we've got a lot of things that do support this. I suppose it's mostly industrialists in the government that support this. But that would be at least another way to improve the life of the people. Or lives of the people. And I'm hoping that now the education or the literary rate will start going up. Because they're no longer serfs. So they, tankless being, should be able to get maybe a bit of education. General staff unlocked. All right. And France has expanded over there without a fight. Not surprised there, to be fair. They are rather infamous. How is our infamy doing, by the way? We are reputable. We have no infamy whatsoever. We've got a true fit Kazimit state, though. Until 1872. So I probably shouldn't be attacking through there. It does, uh... Oh, and we've got a defensive pact with Nate, so we can't attack there either. Bahrain, are you part of you're part of the British market? So I don't know if I can actually attack you. Um, no, I cannot. I'm guessing Trucial states you are part of the British market as well. So I don't, yeah, I can't actually attack you either. So I'm guessing the options for our advance or expansion right now are either Egypt, which I suppose we could start damaging relations there. At least open an option. Like, to be fair, they still got definitely a stronger army than we could do. Although we have 
the numeric advantage. We actually have a higher population than they do. And I wouldn't mind getting some of this uh, southern Egypt over here. Like these four states, for example. We probably wouldn't be able to take all of that. But let's say these three states at least. This one's not particularly useful, to be fair. There's a bit of logging there, at least. There's more logging over here. Uh, prejudiced employees. Uh, empl employers. I can read. Um, either we reduce some authority. Or send out living for... Shona to Oromi... Uh, I'm just going to say workforce for everyone. We got the extra authority right now. Might as well use it. So how bad is the clout for the landowners now? It's only 20%. But they're losing power fast. Which is actually good for us. And I think we might want to... Well, we could stop increasing the industrialist uh, clout soon. Now that we've got the election thing, it's at least going to be a little bit easier to do or pass things. Portaline price is going down. Lead price is still bloody massive. It's actually maxed out. Uh, we are getting the lead mine built soon, though. Uh, do we have the naval base over here? It's not fully employed yet. It's at least a little bit better than what it used to be. Uh, we could maybe get another iron mine, because the iron price is bloody massive there. And academic assistance. University building throughput minus 50%, and active success chance 20%. Or 10% chance. Hmm. I'm going to take the 20% chance because the sooner we get this one done, well, I suppose they modify for the throughput for the university, which was still sort of permanent. So, yeah, that's minus three points per week for the research. But it's still not the worst. We're getting the chemical bleaching as well, so that's going to allow us to get more porcelain production. I'm about to get another textile mill level here. How's the. Okay, the clothing price isn't too bad anymore. And the tool price is still. Well, it's not the worst, put it that way, but it is growing. Oh man, the tool workshop is actually making pretty decent uh, uh, profit on a weekly basis. Looks like we could use a bit more tobacco as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and build one of these in here. Uh, we've got millet, plant or millet farms already in there. We've got tea. Okay, tea and coffee are not profitable. Livestock isn't really profitable either. Nor is the cotton until we start using it more or selling it to the other nations. Which we might do. So, France, there's nothing that I can do to make you... I suppose I could improve our relations once again. It's only 4 to 7, so if we increase that to back to 50, we've got the influence for it. Okay, so the... Blend mine is going to be done in 10 weeks. The arms industry is doing mostly fine, although it's having a bit of a... Oh, there's not enough hardwood. Do we have a lot of logging camp here? We do. I'm just going to switch you to produce some hardwood then. That is going to reduce the demand for hardwood at least a little bit. Although it probably means that we also need a bit more wood over here. Although it's only 20% extra price there. So it's not too bad. That's definitely manageable. We actually have a look at the prices again. So porcelain, iron, services. Do we actually have a lot of uh, glass extra? We've got a lot of it. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go for the urban center here and switch to the market squares. It's going to increase the services and we are taxing the services uh, quite a bit. Rising speeds captivates the public. So we're going to get 15% success chance or extra popularity for the church. I think we're just going to go for the enactment chance. So is the church... No, the church is part of the conservative party. Right. We've still got people in here that are wanting to pass the law so it should be fine. I mean, there's the industrialists, and then we've got a lot of uh, bonuses from various events. But if it's not done soon, then I'm a bit surprised. Uh, do we have... We've got a little bit extra population or workers in here. And most of these are hiring all of the workers that they can. So is that now 46? We need up to 70 lead to be produced, but that is now improving the porcelain and glass production. You know, glass, we have uh, exactly the same amount of buy and sell orders there. Right, is there anything in the journal that would be of interest? Central Archives. Um, oh. Right, so we need to have um, admin building of level 10 or higher. We could actually start building that in there. I'm not going to build all of them at once. I'll probably put in a food industry level there as well. And then, how much is there? There's still a decent bit of infrastructure left over there. Is there... That one's also got a bit of room. We could also get another government admin over here. And another tobacco plantation. And speaking of all the admin stuff, 
Let's go ahead and increase the home affairs level now. It's going to take almost a year to get that all the way done. That should be fine. The relations we have with Egypt is going down, but at the same time, um, I have a suspicion that a lot of people hate Egypt. Yeah, Ottomans hate Egypt, France hates Egypt, uh, Britain is neutral. Uh, they got some friendly faces over there, and a lot of friendly faces over here. But what I am hoping is that I could take at least Hejaz through that war, maybe, and also... Oh, uh, all right, we are going to be losing bureaucracy a lot. Die works accident. Oh no! Well, we'll give the trade unions a little bit of uh, boost there. Although I don't actually want them to be in power. Although while the boosts uh, that they give manufacturing industries throughput, oh, and worker ratio. Oh wow, that is really good. That might be a little bit overpowered. Just saying. Right, so we're going to get the religious schools hopefully now, maybe. Nope, but we did get another 10% uh, success chance, but what was that? 15? Oh, that's 15, yeah. We've got three extra battalions in reserve. The market access is actually pretty decent overall. Paper is very expensive, though. Oh, nationalism is unlocked. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and get another level paper mill in here. Because we seem to be using a lot, although that is going to take us a little bit over our infrastructure limit, but the increase isn't too bad i think we're gonna manage that and there we go we are actually indeed at 1.2 million radicals after we did the serfdom i didn't have a look at the numbers there but that was probably i mean it's going down still so it may have been 1.3 million at the time there but yeah we are getting a decent bit more loyalists as well now hopefully we can just get the religious schools down so that's going to increase the education we've got a lot of uh influence available to do some uh, Diplomacy. I mean, the France, we did already... Oh, they're cautious again. Because they view me as a natural enemy. That's not exactly how I was uh, hoping to have things go. Uh, I could improve relations with Russia, at least. But yeah, France is so strong that that is kind of stopping a lot of the things that we can do here. Ah, oh, there we go. Chemical bleaching. Let's go ahead and activate that. So that's a bit more dye use, but a bit more porcelain production. It's going to drop the porcelain price quite a bit, but I'm sure that the demand for it is going to then start skyrocketing pretty much immediately. Let's go ahead and get some more research going, though. Um, and that would be for steel production. We don't really produce steel. Let's have a look at the military stuff. I think there might be something over there. Like, the field works would actually be pretty decent. Or some of the port max levels or frigates. So that would allow... Us oh, right, that leads to... Uh, Iron class, but it wouldn't be done immediately. Let's look at the field works. Increasing defensive enough of our troops will be useful, especially if we run into a war against some of the bigger nations. There we go, we have religious schools. Um, let's have a look at the other laws that we could pass. Could we get the mercantilism? That would be 20% success chance now. Not to do the industrialist. We could do that, or we could go for the protectionism already. That would mean the landowners would hate us a little bit, but I'm okay with that. And then we're going to start trading. We'll start making some proper money, finally. But I'm hoping that now the literature rate will start climbing up rapidly. Uh, it is going up, at least. And what level can we get it in if we had the points? Up to level 2. Okay, so we are building a lot of administration right now. Actually, that reminds me. We should probably bring in the food industries a little bit higher in here. As well as uh, some of the other things. So we can sort of alternate between the government administration and the other buildings. There we go, Home Affair has gone up again, so that probably means that the radicals are going to start dropping even faster now. At least for a while, and the loyalists are going to go up. Uh, total, oh, actually, standard of living has been increasing. It's now 12 on average, which of course is very close to the lower strata, because most of our population is lower strata. What went to the Emperor? 2% pops in Gondor become more radical, but that's 3% prestige for 5 years. Or church... Ah, uh, you know what? We'll do that. If we can get a little bit higher in prestige, that probably wouldn't hurt. Although I don't think we'll be getting that much uh, benefit from it. Right, we're still waiting for the protectionism. We've got 20% chance or 19% chance of succeeding there. Mexican migration to Ivory Coast. Okay, that's unexpected. Our uh, population is now 9 million, but yeah, we're basically sort of uh, blocked in here. because France is cautious, so they would join in a war against me. I can't invite them. I mean, only thing that I could imagine where I could invite them in is in a war against Egypt. 
And if I promise them something in here, for example, the Middle Egypt, then they might join for our side. Or I'll have to wait until they are busy in a big war, which right now this is um, slowly expanding into various directions. I think that... Monica, hold on a minute. Oh, it's down here. Okay. So that's where they're fighting now. I mean, they are colonizing most of Africa anyway. They're colonizing over there and here. Oh, let's go with the Oriental Orthodox. All right. This support we can pass this bill. That would be 15% chance. Or 10% chance we'll lose the popularity on the church and increase the popularity of the rule for. I think we're just going to go with the extra success chance so that we can get law passed sooner. Because the sooner we pass that, the sooner we get to trade. But we also seem to be out of time for this episode, so if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, get the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, bye bye.